everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I'm super tired. I have a big list of things I need to do today. I need to edit the vlog that's going to go up today because I haven't done that. But there's not a lot in it so that doesn't really matter too much. I need to fix the the one before the last one you saw because it didn't upload properly. It's really annoying. I was having a lot of trouble but I thought I fixed it and obviously didn't. So I need to re-upload that. Which is kind of annoying. I've got to interview the BBC for BBC Songs of Praise. And then we're going to North Wales. So, big busy day for Ezzy. 6am. Gotta get ready. Gotta try and edit the vlogs. Let's go. It's so cold and I want to take off my big fluffy dressing gown to wash my face. Don't make me do it. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm all clean. My hair's still wet because I washed it last night because she needed a wash. So um, I'm gonna have to let it dry for a little bit. We don't have anything for breakfast. I don't know when the shops open, but there might be something in it. Look at it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Also, this thing's still on my face, and I've got like several more now. And I'm filming today. What's that about? My skin's been so bad lately. And I don't know why. It's like sensitive to touch. She hurts to touch. I don't know what's going on with her. I've got to do my makeup in the bathroom because, you know, Patty's still in bed. I hate doing it in the bathroom. It's like, it's cold and it's bad lighting. It's like yellow. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. <sighs> If I look like a clown when I'm done, it's because I'm tired and I fucked up. Hair's up, makeup's done. There's a little tuft of hair there. T-shirt's inside out. But don't worry about that, it's because I got dressed in the dark this morning. What is this little tuft of hair doing? Ah, any other day I'd be like, it's fine, but also my hair's a bit lumpy. Now that it's backlit, I can see it very clearly. We'll see. Might have to redo the hair. Anyway, I need to figure out what to wear. So, Jerome originally said smart casual, then he said whatever you wear to uni. But what, yeah, I think I'm going to redo my hair. It's a bit lumpy. Anyway, whatever I wear to uni is joggers and a hoodie, which I will not be wearing for a BBC interview. So, I'm going to chuck some jeans on, even though my jeans do not keep me warm. I'm going to be freezing, but whatever. Uh, find a top and I don't know just like a jumper I guess I guess I don't know don't know see what happens figure it out I don't want to wear my denim jacket because I wore that for the workshop I don't know why that's a thing for me because they didn't even really show the workshop but whatever yeah, this hair is crazy. Just redid my hair. She's not really much better at all. In fact, I might just made it worse. But I'm no, I definitely just made it worse actually. That's terrible. <sighs> Whatever. I'm no hair guru and I'm sure no one actually cares but me except this thing is. I should have left it how it was. I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna redo my hair again. Third time lucky. I'm dressed, I'm ready to go. I just went with this LA jumper and just black jeans. They're kind of like, look at the knees, they're already faded, but they'll be okay. This thing keeps poking through, which is kind of annoying. I thought this top would uh, be okay. I've got like a nice purple blousey top on underneath in case. I don't know, it, it comes from my drama days. I just, uh, I'm always prepared in case they want a costume change, even though it's just an interview. It's just like drilled into me. I just can't, I, just, I can't go anywhere near a camera without having some sort of contingency plan. That's why, <laughs> that's kind of why when I film my music video, Pete says, you know, just bring, bring all the clothes you have, you know, anything that you think could work. So I bought everything. I literally took it to heart. I took everything with me to Cambridge like in two suitcases and like the it ended up being um two out of the three things 
we used, we bought from Primark and we didn't use any of my stuff and the only reason we used um, my jumper that you see in the video is because I spilled coffee down myself and <laughs> we needed to cover it up but I, it, it all worked out better, I think it looks better now anyway. I'm going to get my fluffy slippers on a sec. Oh, oh lovely. Uh, Paddy has gone to the shop to get breakfast because we don't have anything for breakfast because we're going to Wales, I keep saying we're going to Wales this weekend. Um, to Crickieth? I don't know how you pronounce it. We're going there. My aunt is an artist so she's going to pick up her uh, painting from uh, the gallery that she's displaying it in and we're going to see my great auntie Gwen and yeah, it's going to be really nice. My grandpa's is going, Sue's going, my uncle Cole's going, and then me and Paddy are going. So, staying in a nice little place. It's going to be lovely. Lovely time. Um, I get, I have to miss the, the finals uh, this Sunday. Uh, one of the tutors has hired out a room, uh, like at the Mockingbird Cinema, so that we could all watch it together and be together. But I'm in North Wales, so obviously I can't be there. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good weekend. It's gonna be a good life. As it is a go, I'm filming before I get outside because it's freezing and I'm gonna put my gloves on. But we we is en route. <laughs> I'm back from filming and it's all good. It went really well and we're going to the door because we're on our way to North Wales. It's half two and we need some snacks for the journey because it's... How long's the journey? Two and a half? Too long. Too Three. long. Three hours without traffic. So we... We, we, we is going. So little is kind of a disaster. We don't know what we're going to do now. Paddy's really hungry. Might be a Mackie's job, but need water though, so don't know what the solution is. Gospel Choir has reached this Sunday's final of the Songs of Praise Gospel Choir of the Year Awards on BBC One. All of the BIM Birmingham singers are students at the BIM Institute and only formed a year ago. The final will be judged by choir master Gareth Malone and the soul singer Nisha Paris. <laughs> Big days on Sunday when a group of Birmingham singers could be named Songs of Praise Gospel Choir of the Year. Will their sweet harmony see these Birmingham students win Gospel Choir of the Year? And the Songs of Praise Gospel Choir of the Year this weekend. They're one of five choirs singing their hearts out on BBC One this Sunday in the prestigious competition for amateur choirs. What makes it particularly remarkable is they haven't been singing together for very long, Audrey Diaz records. In the morning. Young voices in perfect harmony. This gospel choir was only formed a year ago, but their contemporary sound has carried them to impressive new heights. Last Sunday, they thrilled the audience on BBC One and wowed the judges with their modern twist on the classic hymn, Abide With Me. I've just got to say, first of all, that, that looking at you, I, I love the look of it because it feels like you've all got your own individual styles. I just encourage you to press even more into the lyrics. I've liked Governor B all my life, um, so to hear him say such good things about us made me feel really inspired. It's like, like I get to bring out that old part of me again, um, like where we were singing the gospel songs and having that feeling of like listen to the words and being able to understand what they mean. They're all students at the BIM Institute in Birmingham. When they're preparing for life in the music industry, making their mark in this competition could give them a sense of what life could be like. Yeah, it's very overwhelming in a good way because we've all worked so hard. It's like all them weeks just building up and then you finally get to perform, you get to sing your heart out and um, yeah, it's such a good feeling to be up there just with everyone. Vocal lecturer Gerald Buckner brought the group together. The way that they handle each other is with so much love and they absolutely support one another when we're in rehearsals, they're helping each other vocally. It's brought out so much in them that I 
you know, I couldn't have done myself. And I think there are certain experiences that have to happen in order to bring things out in people, and this is one of those experiences. The competition may be tough, but the harmonies are glorious and their performance uplifting. Find out on Sunday whether it's enough to see them crowned Gospel Choir of the Year. Oh, I know that I can make it. Audrey Diaz, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Oh, I do hope so. We'll hear more from them in there. just a moment. First of all, let's really hear just about all from us. Have a terrific weekend if you can. And we leave you with our Gospel Choir ahead of their Songs of Praise final on Sunday. Bye for now. We made it! Paddy's just paying. Look at that castle in the background. Oh, it just looks like lights. You can't. Oh, can't really see it. But um, this is the place back there. You can't really see, but it's quite yeah, looks quite posh. That's the place. I'm not quite sure whether it was a new person or wombats or whatever. I, I they were wombats, Dad. I thought they were possibly that. Yeah, Auntie they're... Elizabeth said they're not. Well, they want bush babies, probably. Eh? Maybe bush babies. Dad, they're not going to be wombats, they're fat and they crawl, they're like Hamish, basically. Yeah, no, they're not that small. Wombat, wombat. Oh, they weren't wombats. And basically, wombats are Hamish without beards. Yeah. You can't really see me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we're trying to park in the driveway, but the driveway's a bit narrow. Holy bull sacks. Look, look, look how narrow that is. Wow. Yeah, that's that's kind of narrow. Hang on, I'll show I you. Just, I think it's what he's getting at. I'll just go back to where we was now. Yeah. Back round we go. Paddy's just off to see what the verdict is and whether we can get in. We're going for it. Woo! God, it's ridiculously it. tight, isn't it? Holy tits. Yeah, just just a bit. Oh, Brody Castle. Oh, Brody Paddy. Paddy! Paddy found the corner shop that we were looking for. So this is our room. we got some bunk beds. But I think we're going to both, you know, try and squish onto this bad boy yeah this is the room it's super cute that's Gramps' room in there and then that's Sim Cole's room this is the bathroom you know lovely little place I'm sorry my phone camera is so zoomed in it's so annoying but I can't change that um, or can I? Can I zoom out? No, that's the zoomed out as it goes. And yeah, I'll show you the living room later, but yeah, I'm about, I'm just upstairs to get my slippers. We just went on a little walk to try and find a corner shop. Oh, and we succeeded, so. Yay. Got all my little cosies. By cosies, I mean dressing gown. I had to bring this. We thought it might be cold, and it's, it's not 
It's not cold. It's like way warmer than our flat. But um, Sue's complaining it's cold. She's trying to get the fire going, but we don't have any matches, so that's going well. Also, look at these things. We walked up the stairs, and I was about to say, "Oh, this is lovely," and then I saw this. How creepy! Look at this. Imagine having like night terrors in the night, and then you come out and look at this. Terrifying. This is the living room. Super cute. And that's the fire we can't light. And that's Paddy. I'm not a human. And this is a little dining room. That's super cute. It's like a little hidden room. And this is Sue. Oh, she's done there. Sorry. Hi. I forget to do a video coming in. So we'll start off at the front door. Well, this is the back door. So the back door. And then you turn around. That's the little kitchen. And then you come into the living room. Then we're going to light a fire because it's bloody freezing in this house. And there's, there's Dad. Say hello. Dad. Hello. And then we go up the stairs. There's Colin. Colin is dying for chocolates, I think. And we go up the stairs. How many? Um, right, so that's the bathroom. It's too cold to have a shower, even though I want a shower. So you yeah, listen. That's how my own calls through. It's full of mess at the moment. It's got old fashioned little windows. This is a cottage scene. It looks lovely from the outside. That's lovely. you can hear. That's Gramps' room here. It's only little. And he's got light up there too. That's the little window. And Paddy and Ezra in the bunk beds are free, so they can't complain. <laughs> Where's the light for this? And that's the other room. There you go. And in the morning, I will show you these little windows there. But I closed the curtains because really it is so cold. In the morning, I will show you the outside. That's what it says. The dining room, I forgot. This is the dining room in the cottage we're staying in. I forgot all about this room. It's like a hidden room. This is you Say hello. Hi. <laughs> I should have brought my eye drawer. Oh, you didn't bring your eye drawer? Yeah, no, they're downstairs. Oh, you mean upstairs? Yeah, they're downstairs. In my what drawer. is it? Oh, do you want me to go get them? No, I can do it. I have working legs. You do indeed. So, I think that's going to be the end of the vlog. Or I could just scratch. Oh, I'd love a good itch. No. Okay, I'm going to go get Paddy's eye drops. Hang on, we're going to... No, I can do it. No, I'm going to go and do it. I can do it. <laughs> God damn it. It's time to end the... Oh, yeah, he's got the gang sign. Time to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Trials. I hope you enjoyed our adventure to Wales. <laughs> <laughs> um, Please subscribe for more and i'll see you wednesday you can't see us <laughs>